Hey everybody, Ken in the kitchen, and this week I'm going to attempt for the very first time to cook fish. And I've, I've never obviously cooked fish before, it's my first time cooking it. I like salmon, so I'm going to attempt to try to cook salmon today. Karina has cooked a lot of fish. She is quite good at it. I've watched her do it, so I'm hopeful that this will go okay. In case it does go you know, completely sideways, I am using frozen salmon fillets. Uh, again, I'm a lazy cook. I'm looking for recipes with minimum effort, maximum flavor, and frozen salmon sounds right up my alley. And besides, they typically freeze the fish, whatever kind of fish it is, right there on the boat where they're catching it. So I'm getting it as close to fresh as I can, especially being here in Reno, Nevada, in the middle of the desert, landlocked, I'm not near salmon, so I think that I'm going to do okay using the frozen fillets. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and review some of the ingredients we're going to be using today, and then we'll just jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start by chopping and pulling apart some broccoli. We're going to use this as our side dish. And so just use as much broccoli as you think you want to eat. Put it in a pot with a steaming basket if you have it. And then lid it up and just leave it there. We're going to come back to that later. Next, we're going to build our sauce. We start with two lemons, one of which we're going to juice. So I'll just go ahead and rub it back and forth because that's the way to get good juice out of a lemon apparently, and just squeeze it for all you're worth. Squeeze that lemon. You're going to try to get about two tablespoons worth of juice out of this lemon. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce. And then comes the important part, the honey. Now, this ambrosia honey I get at Walmart, and it is amazing. It's the best honey I've ever bought at a grocery store. And let's just watch it for a while, shall we? I mean, come on. This is nice, right? This is relaxing. Watch the honey. Watch the honey. Okay, enough honey. Time for garlic. Using about one and a half to two teaspoons of chopped garlic. I like the jarred brand because it's easy. And then we'll combine everything together. You're going to want to put in a little bit of soy sauce and the honey and the two tablespoons of lemon juice and scrape as much honey as you can off the spatula. Add the rest of the soy sauce to the bowl and about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes just for a little bit of kick and then mix it all together. It's going to be stiff and a little hard to mix at first because of the honey, but it'll loosen up eventually. It'll be fine. Next, set your burner to medium high. Our stove runs hot though, so I'm setting ours to the high end of medium. We'll add two tablespoons of oil to the pan, and once that is heated up, we'll go ahead and, and add the salmon. And you're supposed to let it go until it shimmers. I'm still not sure what shimmer looks like, but uh, I think it's okay now. So I'll go ahead and add the salmon in there. Skin side up. And we're going to set it in that pan for six minutes. In the meantime, you can go ahead and salt with uh, kosher salt and add some freshly ground black pepper to the party. Now you're going to want to turn that before the six minutes is up, but don't do it your patience will be rewarded. And now you can turn the fish, but more importantly, you got to chase the salmon around the pan because the more you chase the salmon, now the better it's going to taste later. Trust me on this. Now it's time to add the garlic and mix everything together. Give it another quick stir. Chase the salmon around the pan some more. Watch the oil splatter and think to yourself, maybe that's too high, Ken. Nah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. What could go wrong? Anyway, we can add our sauce now, and that will definitely stop the oil from spattering for a little bit. And then we add our lemons to the party and give everything a, a good zhuzh. Try to get the lemons down in the sauce so they soak up all that goodness and impart some of their lemony flavor to the sauce. And then baste your salmon with this delicious soy mixture. Ah, that looks good, doesn't it? Trust me, the kitchen smelled great about now. Now, we don't want to overcook the salmon, so we'll just go ahead and remove it from the pan while the sauce 
will continue to reduce and keep chasing that salmon, Ken. It's going to taste really good now. And then finally, we can add the broccoli to the sauce, and this is going to be some truly yummy broccoli. Trust me. And now it's time to plate up. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. It, it looks great. The broccoli is nice and tender. The salmon looks good. Everything smells great. Look at those lemons. And the fish itself, I think, looks nice and flaky and tasty. Okay, I think it went pretty well. All things considered, I'm really happy with how it turned out. If I had to change a couple of things, one, I would have pulled the salmon out of the pan just a little bit sooner. It wasn't massively overdone or anything. It still tasted good. I just know from personal experience uh, that I, I like my salmon a, a little bit less cooked than that. But for my first time ever, I am really happy with how that turned out. Also, there was a little bit of bitterness somewhere in the sauce, and I don't know if that's because I used low so sodium soy sauce. So next time I would actually go to the store and buy some full sodium soy sauce. And yeah, I, I, really, I really enjoyed it uh, overall. I th that broccoli turned out amazing. Cooking the broccoli in that sauce, oh, that, was, that was great. That's some of the best broccoli I've ever had. Now, this is sort of a low-calorie dish, except for the honey, of course. Oh, and that, that brand of honey, by the way, love it. They're not sponsoring anything, but they are amazing. That's the best best honey I've ever bought from a grocery store. Anyway though, it's so it's it's kind of low calorie, not really though because of the honey, but if you don't care about calories at all then I would uh, put it on a bed of white rice and yeah, that that just takes it up a, a few levels there. So overall, I'm very pleased. I'm going to call this a win. Let me know if you're going to try this. If you are, go ahead and tag me uh, over on my social media channels. Uh, I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen for you. Just follow me over there. Right now I'm doing a daily update to my Instagram account where I'm posting pictures of the chocolates that we have in our wonderful advent calendars that Karina bought us this year. It's a lot of fun, so maybe I'll see you over there. If you're new here, please subscribe and take a look around on the channel. I do a lot of different types of content, so there's probably something here for you if you look hard enough. More important than anything else, please share the video with people you think might be interested in it. As someone who's looking for an easy but tasty recipe for salmon, maybe this will fit the bill for that. Okay, everybody, thank you so much again for being here. Until next time, I'm Ken. You take care. <laughs>